Top 10 Vintage Cars Number 1 Chevrolet Cova The 1963 Chevrolet Cova was introduced as an alternative to traditional American cars it was known for its unique design and innovative construction. The 1963 Cova was equipped with a 2.4-liter six-cylinder side engine, which was placed in the rear of the car. This engine arrangement made the Cova run unique among other cars of the time. The dubious fame of the car was due to the fact that it became the object to the scandalous publication of Ralph Nader unsafe at any speed which led to serious changes in the legislation on automotive safety. Despite this, John F. Kennedy and his wife, Jacqueline, often drove a Culver during their time in the White House. If you are interested in such a car, then you can buy for about $25,000. Number 2. Dutch Polara the 1964 Dutch Polara is a classic American car that was introduced as a sedan and station wagon. It had an interactive design with characteristic curved lines and round headlights. It was also equipped with a powerful engine. Several operations were proposed for the engine. One of them was a 6.3-liter V8 engine with up to 365 horsepower. This allowed the car to accelerate to 62 miles per hour in 7 seconds. By the way, this car has been in use as a police car in many US cities due to its power and speed. If you'd like to take care of a look at a beauty, then you can buy this cool car for $50,000. Number 3. Oldsmobile 88 the 1975 Oldsmobile 88 is a classic American sedan that was popular for its comfort and power. The car had a large size and a room interior, which made an excellent choice for a family car. The car was equipped with a 5.7-liter Rocky V8 engine, which developed power up to 190 horsepower. This engine was known for its reliability and durability. This car is very interesting to collectors of retro cars because it was one of the last representatives of the classic American automotive industry before the transition to more compact and economical models began. Now it's priced about $30,000. Number 4. Ford LTD Ford LTD 1971 is a full-size car that had a classic design and was presented in several body variants, including sedan, coupe, and station wagon. In 1971, Ford LTD was updated and received a new design of the front part, as well as improved comfort in the cabin. The car was equipped with various engines, including a 5.8-liter V8 with a capacity of up to 370 horsepower. This car used to be often used in police departments as a petrol car. The price of the car is about $20,000. Number 5. MC Hornet MC Hornet 1972 was introduced as a replacement for the AMC Rambler model. The car was available in a variety of body options, including sedan, coupe, and station wagon. The car was presented with several engine options including a 3.3-liter inline-six engine and a 5.0-liter V8. These engines offered different levels of power and fuel economy, which made the Hornet an attractive choice for different types of consumers. The car, like a real actor, got quite a lot of popularity because of the movie, because it was used as the main vehicle in the film Kill Bill, directed by Quentin Tarantino. This added some popularity and cultural significance to the car. You can buy a car for $25,000. Number 6. Mercury Park Lane Mercury Park Lane 1959. This car was introduced as a luxury model and was available in sedan and convertible bodywork. As for the engine, the car was equipped with a 6.4-liter V8 engine, which developed a power of about 345 horsepower. The top speed of this car was about 110 miles per hour. 
The car had a rather interesting feature called Breezeway, which allows you to open the rear window for better ventilation in the cabin. The car was very popular among media people, for example, singer and actor Elvis Presley owned one of these cars. And if you like this car as much as I did and want to feel yourself in the role of Elvis, then you can buy for about $55,000. The Dutch Royal was the flagship of the Dutch lineup. Pushing the Coronet series into second place, it went on sale in four body types a four door sedan, a five seat club coupe, a two door sport coupe head top, and the convertible. It was equipped with a Red Ram V8 241 engine with a displacement of 3954 cm3 and an output of 150 HP, while the Coronet and Meadowbrook this engine could be ordered for a surcharge. And then, in 140 horsepower version, the base was a 3.8 liter 6 cylinder with an output of 110 HP. Three important items appeared in the list of options. Power steering $134, air temp air conditioner $643, and fully automatic transmission power flight $189 with torque converter and two-speed blender gearbox, which replaced more complex four-speed semi-automatic transmission gyro torque. Dodge Royal Convertible was a pace setter in the Indianapolis 500 race. To commemorate the event, the company built 700 examples of the limited edition Dodge Royal 500 Convertible. It cost 200 and one more than the standard convertible. Now, such a car will cost you under $3,000. Number 2 Bugatti Type 59. The Bugatti Type 59 was the last Bugatti race car of the 1930s. Its original 2.8-liter engine was underpowered compared to its current rival races. It was fitted with an enlarged 3.3-liter 3,257cc slash 197-inch 3 version of the straight A Top 57 engine mounted on a modified Top 54 chassis. The engine was lowered for a better center of gravity, and the frame was lightened by a series of holes drilled into this chassis. The Type 59 didn't make its debut until the end of the 1933 season at the Spanish Grand Prix in San Sebastian, where the two cars finished a solid 4th and 6th. The modernized Type 59 only managed a lucky victory at the 1934 Belgian Grand Prix at Spa when all the top drivers pulled out with one to victories in the second car. Later in the year, the Type 59 finished first at the small Algerian Grand Prix. Similar cars were raced in the Mafia game and had also so their looks made up for it. This car is not available for sale to the average person, but once owned by the Belgian King Leopold III, a Bugatti Type 59 sports car was sold by the auction house Gooding Company for $9.535 million. Number 3 Chevrolet Camaro Z-28-1969 Among the variety of versions of the first-generation Camaro, the 69Z-28RS can be called the most brutal modification. The Z-28 4.9-liter engine isn't the strongest, but the RS package with grills on the headlights makes this car real beauty. Its looks combine the grace of the first Camaro with the newfound beastly power typical of the 69 versions. And its behavior on the road is noticeably more stable and sportly than the more powerful SS. This car was designed for automobile racing at accelerated to 127 miles per hour. The car cornered remarkably well and was not capricious on the road. Now its price is about $100,000. Number 4 Cadillac Series 62 1940 for many car enthusiasts, the 1940 Cadillac Series 62 is the pinnacle of luxury and style in American classic cars. 
The sleek design, powerful V8 engine, and smooth running chassis of the classic model makes it one of the most sought after models in today's collector car market. It had a spacious interior and plenty of latch room, and you could equip it with all sorts of luxury features like air conditioning and AM FM radio. The 1940 Cadillac 62 series sold for a base price of $1,950, while you could pay over $2,800 for an upgraded model. Today, those prices would be equivalent to more than $30,000 and $47,000 respectively. The 1940 Cadillac 62 series was powered by a 389.7 cubic inch V8 engine that produced 150 horsepower and 300 LB featuring of torque. The transmission was either a 3-speed manual or an optional hydromatic automatic. Performance was about what you'd expect from a car of this class. It could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds on its way to a top speed of 85 miles per hour, though normal drivers would be unlikely to hit that speed. What's even more amazing is how well its brakes worked. The car could accelerate to 60 miles per hour in just 115 feet, which is really impressive for its time. Number 5. Ford's Galaxy 1964 The name Galaxy appeared among the Ford automobile designations for the 1959 model year. It was a line of six body types, two in four-door sedans, two in four-door hot tops, sunliner convertible, skyliner hardtop convertible with folding hardtop, located one step above the Fairlane slash Fairlane 500, and two steps above the Custom slash Custom 500. The car was decorated with rom and stainless steel, the body was painted mainly in two colors. The 1964 model has essentially the same chassis as the 1959 model. During this time, two body styles changed, the first used for the 1960-1961 model years, the second for 1962-1964 model years, with an annual interim restyling affecting the trim panels. The engine lineup traditionally reigns with a variety ranging from a 3.7 liter to a 5.8 liter V8. This model was used by police in some states of America. This car looks great, but is not much in demand because of its age. The price is in the range of $15,000 to $50,000 per car. This particular car was developed as an imaginary prototype of the 500 road-going models that were created for public use under NASCAR homologation rules should be approved for that competition. The Galaxy succumbed to modifications from Metrangaha Roads, Brown Auto Design and Ford so they managed to retrain the handling and standard appearance of a production car so it can certainly be considered suitable for a public road use. Fiesta. The Fiesta is a car produced by Alsmobil for only one season in 1953 a total of 458 cars were produced. The Fiesta, like many other cars of the 1950s, was made in the style of a futuristic dream car. It was characterized by a primitive hockey stick shaped side trim and a round panoramic windscreen. In essence, the Fiesta was a production, but fully equipped. 1998 convertible with the 303 cc V8 from Alstern to produce 170 bhp. Top speed was 95 miles per hour, which many consider it too high for such performance. Most Fiestas were a two-ton and had tenue leather interiors and were fitted with a hydraulic gearbox with automatic shifting and power steering to make it easier to maneuver a large vehicle in small spaces. The Fiesta was not cheap, 5,717 in the US, but this was one of the reasons why it was so popular. 
at the time, GM could do what it wanted and it needed to make a profit. If you want to get your hands on one of these beauties, be prepared to fork out around $80,000. Number 2. 1970 Big GSX Big has introduced the top of the range GSX high performance package at the affordable price of 1100 compared to 3285 for the base Big GS455. The Big GSX was designed to appeal to younger people for whom current performance was not enough. The main engine used was the vastly improved V8 455 with the maximum torque of 690 Nm and an output of 455 HP, while the intermediate version, the Stage 1, borrowed from the GS, an output of 360 HP. A less powerful 400 engine was available as a reference. The power system was a single 4-chamber Rochester Quadrojack carburetor. The powertrain offered a 3-speed turbo hydrometric 400 automatic, 3 and 4-speed manual transmissions, 15-inch wheels, upgraded suspension, 10.6-inch front brake discs, 9-inch rear brake drums, and stiffer springs. The 1970 Buick GSX was available in Saturn Yellow and Apollo White as standard equipment, with bucket seats, white sports tires, front and rear spoilers, and a neck petite technometer. Only 687 Buick GSX were produced a year. If you really value cars, you can buy such a car for $40,000. Number 3, 1970, AMC Rebel Machine. The Rebel was the ideal base for a true muscle car, but just before 1970, the supercharged version was launched, called the Machine, powered by the company's largest engine. It developed a compression ratio of 10.0, maximum power of 340 bhp, and maximum torque of 581 Nm. It accelerated to 100 km per hour in 6.5 seconds. The body had functional air intakes and an integrated tachometer. A 4-speed Borkwater T10 gearbox with Hertz shift lever was standard. The AMC Rebel machine had the stiffest suspension of its day, with the rear end of the car higher than the front, reinforced springs at the front and semi-elliptic leaf springs at the rear provided stability at tall speeds. The car was also equipped with badged front disc brakes, a double disc differential, and wide E60 15 Goodyear polyglass tires mounted on 15 inch stamped steel wheels. Hydropower steering, air conditioning, and cruise control were also available at the additional cost. Be prepared to pay $60,000 for this car if you want to add it to your vintage car collection. Number 4, 1953 Pontiac Bonneville. The Bonneville Special was conceived by GM's chef designer Harley Earl after visiting the Bonneville Salt Lakes, Utah, and observing a high-speed car chase. Paul Gillen and Homer Legacine were directly responsible for the car's design. They shortened the wheelbase to 100 inches, 2,540 millimeters, and installed a special body made of plastic panels. The preparations and outlines were copied from the Corvette and refined in the wind tunnel. A large round turbine was mounted on the tailplane. The front headlights were mounted in the wings and covered with transparent gloss, under which were located vertical bumper halves. The radiator grille was replaced by rectangular air intakes. These air intakes had six lower chrome brackets and two stripes of silver stripes running smoothly down the bonnet from the two air intakes. The ripped structure of these stripes was also used on the two aero vans on the front wings and the transmission tenue on the sedan. The glass fronted saloon was hollow, but the side halves opened together with the doors at the touch of the button. 
Be prepared to pay around $40,000 to get this car. Number 5. 1960 Chevrolet Impala In 1959, the Chevrolet Impala was a standalone model and one of Chevrolet's most commercially successful models. The 1959 model was characterized by a very distinctive design with horizontally positioned tail lights. The four-door sedan had three-ply sides and sailing windows and a roundy rear end. The four-door hardtop, on the other hand, featured an unusual flat roof, platform and panoramic front and rear windows. The 1960 model retained the same design features as the previous model but the radiator grille was simplified and three round tail lights were added. This year, the Impala became the number one sailing model in the United States, a position it held for the next 10 years. Technically, this generation was built on the same X-shaped platform as other Chevrolet Cadillacs. If you want to buy such a car, be prepared to pay around $70,000. Number 6 1953 Buick Skylark The 1953 Buick Skylark was in many ways a hand-built car. The bonnet and boot moldings were identical to these fitted to the 1953 Roadmaster Convertible and the 56 R Super Convertible. The front and rear wings and doors as well as the convertible top design were unique to the Skylark. Various lay wheels were also used on the convertible top, so it's not surprising that a large amount of this metal was used immediately behind the doors and below the windows. The Skylark's interior doors were borrowed from and modified from the Tudor Roadmaster and Super. The 1953 Skylark had many unique design features, but one of them, which is a little harder to find these days, was that it was a few inches smaller than the Roadmaster and Super convertibles. This was achieved by simply cutting the windscreen by almost 3 inches, lowering the side windows or lowering the top-down frame without changing the frame, body or suspension. Which made it popular and famous all over the world, several power units went on sale, 3.3-liter, 6-cylinder, 200, 4.1-liter, 6-cylinder, 250, 4.9 liter V8 302 and 5.8 liter V8 351, as well as 304 speed manual and 3 speed automatic transmissions. For many years, the Ford Falcon has been used in various racing competitions, which emphasizes its athletic characteristics because it easily accelerated to 125 miles per hour. Therefore, it can be found in many racing games. One of them is Forza Horizon 3. Are you thinking about buying? Then, according to the most pleasant offer, the car will cost $25,000. Number 2. Chevrolet Malibu SS The 1965 Chevrolet Malibu SS was a sports variant of the Malibu sedan produced by Chevrolet. The car was equipped with a powerful 6.5-liter V8 engine, which developed up to 375 horsepower. This allowed the car to accelerate to 62 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds and reach a top speed 137 miles per hour. One of the features of the car was its stylish and aggressive appearance, with chrome details characteristic of the time and expressive body lines. There were also many elements of sporty design inside the car, which made it popular among fans of fast driving. And also this car has become one of the symbols of the era of large-scale modernization of the American automotive industry. It was a perfect combination of power and style, which made it attractive to many buyers. That is, the car captured the hearts of all car lovers. To get a car in your collection, you'll have to compete with collectors, because for them, this is one of the important goals. The price is about $85,000. Number 3. Oldsmobile Delta 88 the 1973 Oldsmobile Delta 88 
is a full-size car produced by Oldsmobile 1973. The car was available in several body versions, including sedan, coupe, and station wagon. The car was equipped with a 5.7-liter V8 engine at a capacity of about 170 horsepower. The car had a spacious interior and comfortable suspension equipment, which made it popular among customers. Many celebrities prefer this car model. Some of them are rapper Easy e who is known for his love of classic cars, as well as actor John Wayne, who was known for his collection of retro cars. The price of this legendary car is about $50,000. 1969. The car has a beautiful and elegant design. It has an original appearance with a white and low front end, rounded lines, and a long hood. Inside the car, there is plenty of space for passengers and luggage. Overall, the 1969 Buick Riviera is a beautiful and powerful car that was very popular in its time. Today, it is a collector car and a favorite among car enthusiasts. If you want to experience this car, you can ride it in GTA 5 or Forza Motorsport 5. The price for this beauty is about $25,000. Number 2. Chrysler 300F 1960 This is exactly the kind of car that appears when you ask the question America the 60s. Chrysler 300F is the sixth car from the latter series of Chrysler 300. Like the previous representatives of this family, it proudly carried the title of the most powerful car on the American market, and among the fans of the brand was nicknamed Beautiful Brute for its cute wings. The car achieved incredible power for the early 60s, 375 HP in the base version and 400 HP in the optional GT package. Subsequently, the cross ram system was installed on lightweight Dodge and blind mouth models that won a NASCAR. At the flying mile competition in Daytona, the Chrysler 300F showed a top speed of 233 km per hour. Like all 1960 Chrysler cars, the 300F had a low bearing body with a 126 or 3200mm wheelbase, available as a hot-top coupe and convertible. It had long and sharp outward sloping keels, the Rovnator called Deadly. This was the car that John Wayne liked to drive, the price is about $20,000. Number 3. Fortrino 1969 The 1969 Fortrino was based on the Ford Fairline platform but had a more modern design and more powerful engines. This model was created as an answer to the competitors Chevrolet Chevelle and Plymouth Road Rona. The car was equipped with a variety of engines, ranging from a 3.3-liter six-cylinder to a 7.0-liter V8. The most powerful engine was the Cobra Jet V8, which developed 335 horsepower. This model had several body styles, including a two-door coupe, a four-door sedan, and a station wagon. Various options and equipment packages such as GT and Sports were also available. It was popular among motorists and received many positive reviews for its stylish design and high performance. Now its price can be as high as $70,000. Number 4. Ford Fairlane 1957 The Ford Fairlane released in 1957 was a mid-size model named after the estate of Ford's chief engineer. This car became popular due to its stylish looks and powerful engines. Several models were released in 1957, including the Fairlane 500 Skyliner, the first model with the hard folding top, the Fairlane 500 Club Victoria, the first model with two doors and a coupe roof, and a sporty version of the Fairlane 500 Sunliner convertible. The same year saw the introduction of the Fairlane Ranchero, the world's first pickup truck based on a mid-size car. 
The 1957 Ford Fairlane was equipped with a V8 engine rated from 190 to 312 horsepower as well as a new front suspension with springs and shock absorbers, which improved handling and ride comfort. In 1957, the Ford Fairlane was one of the best-selling cars in the United States, ranking second behind the Chevrolet. This car took part in movies, for example, it was The Hollywood Nights. If you want such a car, you'll have to give about $25,000. Number 5. Willys MB 1941 The Willys MB is an American military jeep that was designed by the Willys Overland Company in 1941. It was created for years during the Second World War and was one of the main vehicles of the American Army. The Willys MB Jeep had a sturdy frame and four-wheel drive, making it ideal for a traveling over difficult terrain. It was also lightweight and compact, allowing it to be transported by airplane or parachute. When the vehicle arrived at the front, it was used to carry soldiers, weapons and other equipment. It had four-wheel drive, a decent tank and acceleration up to 65 miles per hour as well as excellent cross-country ability. Thanks to this car, many lives were saved because the car was used by medics in the war. After the Second World War, the Wales MB became popular among civilian motorists because of its reliability and versatility. It became the forerunner of modern softs. Today the car is a collectible, remaining popular among military history buffs and automotive collectors. Number 6. Pontiac GDO 1969 Time has no control over them. They still look great today and go just as fast. They will always excite the motoring public. Of course, this is all about muscle cars. There are some models that have a special appeal and this is one of them. The spoiler fits in well with the exterior. Always liked the front end in Pontiacs, which has no bumper as such. Thanks for the designers for such a beautiful car. One of the key features of the 1969 Pontiac GDO was its engine. It was equipped with a 6.5-liter V8 engine that produced 350 horsepower. This allowed the car to reach a top speed of 137 miles per hour. You can ride this baby in 4 hours and 4. The price for it can reach $100,000, but it is worth it. Noticing the increased sales of its fast cars, Pontiac developed a custom feed charge kit for the 1969 model line and adapted it for the abrasion prone GDO and tires. With eye catching paint and bright lettering backed by the Ram Air GDO system, the Judge was the perfect combination of brightness and power for the street. Powered by the legendary Ram Air system, the Judge GDO was the most quintessential speed car. For 1969, a new option created a new image of the powerful poncho everyone gets in front of the GDO Judge. The Judge makes an impression even when standing still. When in motion, its true intentions become apparent. Push the throttle to the floor and feel its torque as your body sinks into the bucket seat. Shift into second gear and listen to the tire squeal as you feel the power. This venerable car is capable of very long rides. Write in the comments which vintage car you liked best. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. See you later.